Okay, so here are some special questions. They're all the same type of question that show up time in, time out on the Regents exam. This is for an atomic mass determination. Atomic masses on the periodic table are what we call weighted averages. So I just don't add them up and divide by the number, then it would mean equal weights. Since atomic mass is the weighted average of the naturally occurring isotopes for an element, they very rarely have exact numbers. So check out these questions, figure out the answers on your own, and come on back for an explanation and an easy way to go ahead and do atomic mass determination problems. Okay, so here are the answers. For 13, it was 2. For 14, it was 1. And 15, it was 3. How'd you do? Well, let me show you a way to do these. And the way you can do these is to get MAD. Thanks to Mr. Sim, who I work with. MAD stands for multiplication, add, and then divide. So let's take a look at question 13 and see if you can't figure it out for 14 and 15. It's the same setup, same process every time. So what are you multiplying? Well, in this first problem, I have two isotopes of lithium. I'm going to take my atomic mass, and I'm going to multiply by the percent. And I'm going to do the same thing for the second one, atomic mass. And I'm multiplying by the percent. That's the first part. That's the M. Okay, now we get to A. I multiplied them out, and now we're going to add them up. So you add them up, you get 693.99. Last part is the D for divide. You're dividing by 100, and of course when you divide by 100, you get 6.9399 or 6.94. That's your answer. Now, some students can see what the value is, or again, these are setups, but all you have to do is take each one of these, calculate the answers that you get, and only choice two will be 6.94. So, get mad with question 14 and question 15. Same process. You're going to multiply the two values here in the tables for each of the isotopes. Same thing for these bromines. Once you multiply them, add them up and then divide by 100, and that's the answer. And then just check them with the choices, do the math for the four choices, and play the matching game. Keep working hard. Thanks, Mr. Sim, and good luck.